In the previous video, we took a look at how we could cut and split the video as well as adjust the audio. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do transitions from one video clip to another. Now I've gone through and I've removed all the points within the video that I didn't want to keep using a combination of cuts and splits depending on what served my purposes best. So now I want to go ahead and I want to transition from this first part of the video over to the second part where I'm showing the BrainPoof YouTube channel. So here I'm on the website and here I've transitioned over to the YouTube channel. So right here is where I want to make this transition. Now to do that, first I want to go ahead and I'm going to zoom into this transition area and I'm going to go over to the transition tab located just below the Camtasia recording files. You can just click transitions. This is going to give you a nice little library full of different ways that you can transition from one point to another. And let's go ahead and take a look at one of them real fast. I'm just going to do a fold from one transition to the other. So I just grab it, I left click and I dragged it on down and released it and you can see that it plopped right on there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press delete to get rid of it real fast just so I can show you this again. I drag it and you'll notice as soon as I've left clicked and moved my mouse off of it that these points have highlighted in the video where transitions can occur. Now this is another area where cut and split kind of come into place. You'll notice that I cannot drop the transition between cuts. So if you did want to use a transition where you've done a cut, then you're going to have to do a split instead. You'll have to replace that with a split in order to drag and drop it because it will only work in areas that have been split or it will work transitioning from one video clip to another. You can also drop them onto the end of videos. So if you want to do like a fade to black, you could do that as well. So I want to go ahead and drop this fold in between where I was showing the website and where I was showing the YouTube channel. So I'll just release it right there. And if I click play, you can see that it transitioned. There's a neat little effect that occurs and you can kind of even play it through in slow-mo if you just use the frame forward button. So you can see I'm just clicking that a bunch and it's showing me the effect. Now let's take a look at this using another media clip because now we know that we recorded both of these using Camtasia Studio. Well, let's say, I'm going to go over to Clip Bin. Let's say you have a video that you recorded in another program or you downloaded from another source and you wanted to put that into Camtasia Studio and then do a transition from your video clips over to the other video clips. So you can import media into your Camtasia project from two different sources. The first source you can go to is you can click the import media, which will pull up a dialog window where you could select your video. Another way you could do it is you could right click inside of the clip bin and you could select import media. So I'm going to go to my desktop and here I have a video clip of me playing Watch Dogs. I'm going to go ahead, select it and click open. That'll put this video into my Camtasia project. Now I just want to left click on it, drag it on over and drop it into my timeline. I'm just going to drag it on over and butt it up and you'll notice as I did that, it kind of gave me a little line saying, okay, you've snapped it into place. Now with it snapped into place, now here I have my video where I was recording and then boom, it's just a sudden transition and there's no cool effects. So let's say I wanted to do a cool effect going from one to the other, I would just go back to transition. And with transitions over, I could go ahead and play around with a couple of these and determine which one it is that I want to use for my transition. So let's go ahead and just start up at the top. If I were to click barn and just left click on it and drag it, you'll notice that now we have two different video clips. It's not a cut, it's two different video clips. So I can go ahead and drag it and drop it, release it. And you'll notice now I have this new effect. So I can go ahead and click play. And there we have it, a neat little transition going from one to the other. Again, you can do even more with this. So if I were to zoom in on this effect, and let's say that that barn door was opening up too slowly. So I could speed that up. I could just, if you'll notice, if I hover over on the timeline, the transition, I get a little indication that I can click on it and drag it. And that will allow me to speed that up. So I go ahead and speed it up by dragging it over with my left mouse button and then go back and watch it again. And now it's much faster. You could also slow it down. So I could drag it out and if you'll notice, it's gonna be a lot slower now. It's just nice and slow. 
and it gives you a really cool transition. So something that you can do there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this in here so we can play around with this video clip of me playing Watch Dogs in a future video. So you can go ahead and play around with that. You can just drag and drop transitions, see what it looks like, change the speed of it, you know, and kind of get a general idea of how these effects work transitioning from one to another. I'm going to go ahead and make this one really fast. And let's say you wanted to do another one. So I could come in and you can really kind of quickly get an idea that you can make some neat little game footage if that's what you're interested in doing. You could go in, find a point where things look like they're really interesting. So here I could Go over to where he's running to his car and say, just as I get close to the car, I'll stop right here and I'll go ahead and snip this video off. And I split it. Now remember, I don't want to cut it because I want to transition from one frame to another. So it has to be a split. We have to cut this into two different video clips. Then I'll just go forward. I'll find uh, another point in the video history where I want to immediately jump to. So I'm just going to zoom forward here, kind of look at what's happening. And... Let's try to find something interesting. Looks like I was doing some PvP here. So I'm just going to transition right here. So I'll just come over here, grab the clip, go ahead and cut it. I'm just going to grab this here and press delete. Then I'll grab my clip and I'll just drag this over for a while. And sometimes if you jiggle your mouse up and down, it'll drag it over faster. That's <laughs> a little trick there. And I'll butt these two up. Now, clicking on my timeline to get me back where I want to. Now I need to transition because I want to go from I'm running to my car, then I get inside the car, and let's say I'm going to do a voice over here and start talking about watchdogs. So I want to do a transition. I'll just come over and take a look. What transition do I want to do? What's going to make this look cool? He gets to his car, and then something happens to get me to the next video. So let's try this spiral one, see what happens. So I just grab it, drag it, and drop it. Now I'll go ahead and click play and take a look at how it looks. Well, that happened really fast. We couldn't even really see it. Might be because I have a lot of video editing software running on my computer right now. I'll go ahead and slow it down so I can see what this effect does. Oh, I see. Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so just get an idea. You can do all kinds of really cool transitions, and you could put together your own little videos, and you can even record over this and add another video clip in, which we'll probably take a look at how we can do voiceovers. So... I'll go ahead and cover a video too since I'm doing this near the end of this series and how you could do a voiceover to your video clips that you've edited and so that would be kind of cool for a future video. But in the next video we're going to take a look at how we can do call outs as well as zoom in pans. If you have any questions or comments please post below the video on brainpoof.com.